We can now show you the progress being made in getting containers off the ship stranded on the Bay of Plenty coast. Nearly 300 had been removed from the arena after almost three months. Ruth and Williams with the latest on the salvage job. One container at a time. The slow task of removing Rena's cargo, layer after layer, is progressing. We'll just continue working with the discharge of deck containers for the moment and then start to work on the containers down below. Up close, the 236 metre ship's damage is clear and you can literally hear the vessel moving with the tide. Still balancing precariously after 78 days on the Astrolab Reef, just 22 kilometres off the coast of Tauranga. It's a daily pro program of, uh, of watching and monitoring as the weather allows us. Today, conditions are good. Around 30 containers have been lifted from the vessel, bringing the total to nearly 300 since work began. It's 11 weeks now since she landed here and you can see that this is still painstaking work. Around a thousand containers are still on board and this major operation will continue right through Christmas. There's no uh, leave or relief for anyone who's actually on the job, so uh, uh, Christmas Day is another day for us. It's a round-the-clock effort that's keeping these locals too on the job. The exclusion zone at first took out about 95% of our area of operation. Um, that's now been reduced back to just three miles around the arena. The unmissable wreck becoming an attraction of its own. We make a point of on one of our routes since we've been going out over the last week to show people and I was quite um, impressed today to see that most of the containers off of the deck head, anyway, there's only a few left at the front of the boat. We are turning at a good speed with getting the containers off when Mother Nature's kind to us. It is a day-by-day -day process. An unlikely landmark set to be there for some time yet. Ruthwin Williams, One News.